Hello, everyone. This is Li Tao Chinese. My name is Zheng Tao, and I am your teacher. Welcome to our practical Chinese video course, Elementary Lesson One. In our elementary course, there are two phases. The first one is from Lesson One to Lesson Twenty. Your Chinese level will be equal to the first level of the new HSK when you finish. The new HSK refers to the new Chinese proficiency test, which is China's only standardized test of standard Chinese language proficiency for non-native speakers. The second one is from lesson twenty-one to lesson forty. When you finish, your Chinese level will be equal to the second level of the new HSK. Well, there are six levels in the new HSK. In our first lesson, we are going to learn how you ask for a person's name and introduce your name when you meet each other at the first time. Well, the first very common and important phrase you should know is. 你好，你好。你 means you in singular. 好 means good. The later translation is you good. We use 你好 to say hello to someone in Chinese, and the response should be 你好 as well. Please repeat after me. 你好。你好 In our Chinese pin course, we learned when two third tones appear together, the first third tone changes to the second tone. It's still written as with third tone, but read as second tone. For example. The tones of 你 and 好 are both third tones, but when they are together, never pronounce them like 你好 They should be read as 你好你好 And normally, you can say 你好 in all situations. But if you want to be very polite, you could say, 您好您 also means you in singular, just more polite and formal. And the response of 您好 should be 您好 as well. If you meet someone at the first time and you don't know his or her name, in China. We usually ask for their family name first by saying, 您贵姓，您贵姓 What's your family name? When you answer, you should say, 我姓 and plus your family name here. For example, my family name is Zheng. Zheng. My family name is Zheng. I means I. Xing is a verb here. We use Xing to ask for or introduce someone's family name. I 姓郑 My family name is Zheng. This short question, 您贵姓Which is only used to asking for someone's family name, but if you want to know their full name or first name, you need to say, 你叫什么名字？你叫什么名字？你 we learned means you in singular. 叫 is the verb. To be used to ask for or introduce someone's full name or first name. 什么
is a very important question word. Means what? 名字 means name. So the later translation of this question is you to be called what name? The real meaning is what's your full name or first name? When you answer, you should say 我叫 and add your full name or first name here. For example, my full name is Zheng Tao. Zheng Tao. The whole answer is 我叫 Zheng Tao. My full name is Zheng Tao. Remember, we use the verb 姓 To ask for or introduce someone's family name, and we use the verb 叫 for the full name or first name. Be careful not to make them up. A common Chinese name consists of two or three syllables. For example, Jackie Chan, who is a very famous kung fu star. His Chinese name is Cheng Long. It's a two-syllable Chinese name. Jet Li, another very famous kung fu star, Li Lianjie, is his Chinese name. It's a three-syllable name. As we know, in English-speaking countries and many other countries, family name goes at the end of the full name, but Chinese family name. Always comes at the beginning of the full name. For example, Cheng and Li are both their Chinese family names, and Long, Lianjie are their given names. Okay, let's practice introducing the names of the two kung fu stars with Xing and Jiao. Ta, Xing Cheng. 他叫成龙，他姓李，他叫李连杰。他 means he, she, or it. In Chinese, one sound could be several different characters. They share the same sound, but the meanings are different. For this situation, you can only figure out which one someone is talking about by context. Actually, it also happens in many other languages. Let me just take English as an example. If I just make the sound "c," "c," you won't know. Which word I'm trying to tell you? It could be the word s e e c, or the word s e a c, because they share the same sound. But if I put the two words in sentences, it would be very easy. To distinguish them. After we introduce ourselves for each other, we normally would say, 很高兴认识你 to end the first meeting properly. 很 means very. 高兴 means happy. 认识 is a verb means to know. 你 we know. It means you in singular. The later translation is very happy know you. The real meaning is very nice to meet you. It's very nice meeting you. Please repeat after me. 很高兴认识你。很高兴认识你。
If somebody says, 很高兴认识你 to you, you can say, 我也是 to respond. 我也是 means me too. 我 means I or me. 也 means also. 是 is a very important verb. It could be am, is, or are. So 我也是 literally means I also am. But please don't separate it. You just memorize 我也是 as a very useful phrase to respond when you have the same feeling or you have done the same thing like others. For example, if your friend says, he likes Shanghai very much, and you also like Shanghai a lot, you can say, 我也是, or he says, he went to the bar last night, you did too, you can also say, 我也是. In the end, let's listen to a dialogue between two people who meet each other at the first time. 你好。你好。您贵姓？我姓高。我叫高阳。您贵姓？我姓王。我叫王明亮。很高兴认识你。我也是。Make sure you can understand the whole dialogue. Otherwise, please go back to watch the video one more time. If you have a question or comment, about our video, please email us at service at litaochinese.com. From Shanghai, China, 我是郑涛. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Litao Chinese. 再见!